During the 17th century, Deptford was the king's premier shipbuilding yard. Now, one local man is doing his best to bring it back a bit. Julian Kingston lives on Deptford Creek and has been given the go-ahead to start building a life-size replica of an old warship called the Lennox on the Thames. For the first in our series, Community Champions, Martin Stewart reports on his quest to resurrect Charles II's favourite warship. For the last six years, Julian Kingston has been fighting to be heard. Now the council and developers in Deptford are seriously listening to his grand plans to build an enormous replica of a 17th century warship in the docks the original was made. What we're hoping to do is, within the next three years, build the dry dock. If we can build the ship by 2028, then we're going to be launching her exactly 350 years after the original was built. The ship he wants to replicate is HMS Lennox, a 70-gun, two-storey warship. It took 120 highly skilled men a year to build. Julian himself is a shipbuilder, and those who have campaigned alongside him say he's not daunted by the task. He knows how to build a ship. And so for Julian to build a 17th century replica warship, just no big deal. We have the original plans. We know how much wood. We know every joint, everything that went into putting it together. And of course, unlike the rest of us, Julian is able to say, of course, that's how it's done. Deptford Dockyard was built by Henry VIII and was the Navy's main shipbuilding yard for centuries. Now the waterfront is being turned into luxury housing. I think it's really important that as London's waterfront develops and as there's this immense pressure on housing and costs are rising everywhere, that something is given back to the communities that are accommodating this. And in this case, the project will actually provide employment, it'll provide training, it'll provide excitement. What it'll also do is provide an ongoing facility. So you'll have a dry dock with a skilled labour force that will actually be able to look after other tall ships. Before Julian's dream can be realised, there are still more battles to be fought with developers and the small matter of raising something like £30 million. Fortunately, just like the Lennox, he's not afraid to fight for what he wants. Martin Stew, ITV News. And the main